What's going on guys? This is me, Sin Anthony. We're back with Polo. The, the freaking man, man. The freaking the king, man. You, how, how'd you do? Uh, I top 16, the YCS Minneapolis. And I play pure sprites. Okay, of course you top the YCS, obviously. It's, yeah, uh, top 16. For you, it's, it, it, this is kind of like just a, another average day, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not really. It's hard. It was hard because I didn't have a lot of time to prepare since I played Kitu last week. And it was a different card pool. Yeah. So between two events, I didn't have a lot of time to test. But here we are. All right, let's go. Let's uh, let's let us let us see the, this beautiful deck list. Okay, so the sprite engine is this. Nothing too crazy. Not gonna lie. Um, I mean, there's nothing to comment on this. This is uh, the same thing as uh, YCS Rio, actually. So you're still not playing Pixies, and you're only playing one Smashers. Yeah. In reality, in Rio, I didn't. I'm, I side the carrot. Okay. Okay. Uh, but. Now I feel like you need because of the increase of Runic decks. Yeah. So that's interesting. And I don't play Pixies. Yeah. I don't like very much. Okay, so that's the Sprite. Oh, I'm gonna. I play Pot. I missed this card so much because la last week I played Life Twin Sprite. I topped the YCS Key 2 with Life Twin Sprite, but this is so good. Yeah. Um, it's so hard to, to give up on playing Pot. I really like Pot. It's really good. And then the thing that changes everything is now this engine. Um, so Ooh. Free Beavers, two Anglers, and three Swaps. This really shocks me. You're the first person to play three Swap Frog. Yeah, I think it matters because of, really? of course, because of a sprint. Yeah, but uh, like three Swap Frogs? It matters because you, the special summon of the Toad yeah. is really important because you often want to end on Smasher, Carrot, Red. You want to be more free yeah. to use more free to use your effects like okay. you don't want to be like you only have like a toad a red and an elf like it's kind of awkward but if you yeah. have this and this measures and if you have this random swap frog you can easily lose your flag more freely yeah um otherwise you need to like use your toad first and then you're going to use elf but they need to control monsters or bring toad back and then you can red send mm. the elf so, how, about, how about playing two swaps and one dupe? Did you consider that? No, because it's better to draw this one than the Fair enough. Much Good argument. Because if you draw the swap frog and then you have the like a blue or a star or whatever, you can you, you the gigantic don't have the responsibility to bring a swap anymore. Mm -hmm. So what, when this happens, you can bring like a carrot or a red, and then you gain an interaction. Yeah, fair enough. So, Did you ever go special summon swap frog by discarding angler to mm -hmm. trigger its effect? Only once. Okay. It happened once. And it's really interesting I, about the angler. A lot of people ask me why I play two, and I feel like it's pretty obvious. It's very obvious. Like I think you want to use this card to summon the to summon this one. So sprint. The sprint is live. Like and, uh, yeah, exactly. It's very obvious. I think you have to. Yeah. And to alleviate this a little bit, I will show a little bit of my extra deck. So if it happens that I draw this going second, which is not ideal, I have the swap frogs that can discard this and trigger. But I also Phoenix have Cerberus. Phoenix and Cerberus. <laughs> so, My man, I guessed it. <laughs> So it, it can help in that situation as well. So yeah, I feel like this engine was really good. And in honestly, uh, in honesty, I'm surprised on uh, how much better that that got now that yeah. the release of this card. Sprint is ridiculous. Yeah, it's really good. I'm surprised because, like I said, I didn't test a lot for this event, so I kind of had to wing it. Yeah. Uh, so I was I made some mistakes along the way, and the deck got much better because of this and. Ooh. Because Konami remember, like Konami. he thought about me, he thought about me and gave me hand traps. Of course, you always want to play more hand traps. Those cards are absolutely insane. They are unfair. Yeah, like this card, this card alone can win against Tournament. It's absolutely ridiculous. I agree. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I really like this this engine in general. I also like the fact that in this deck you can proactively summon them because you have like dark monsters and, mm -hmm. and like things like that. So it's not like it's dead. For example, I won against yeah. a sword so I banished like a Vishuda. <laughs> it's, oh wow, it can come up. Yeah, even yeah. against like random decks. Yeah, and I did sometimes like proactively, like just to summon an attack. Yeah. Uh, so and this kind of floats because you kill a card from your opponent so it's annoying. Yeah. I loved those cards. Uh, Since you're playing so many level sixes, have you considered playing like Beatrice to like send the angler and summon double beaver? I consider it. Okay. But I don't think it's worth it. Okay. First, because you need to like summon this, and then you need to summon this, and then but you need it, to be it, good to. It's the realistic if you're going second, just not going first. Yeah, and I feel like that extra deck space is not 
uh, I think this is too unlikely to worth the space, but it was a consideration. Okay. So those cards, like, I feel like those changes in the deck, like the screen and those, makes the matchup against Third Element much, much better. Yep. And the rest is more hand traps, of course. Uh, free, free, Ash, and Warner. How uh, was Ash for you? I like Ash. I always see this, oh, Ash is not that good agenda that I don't understand. <laughs> I think Ash is pretty good. Uh, it trades one for one, and this deck wants to make fair trades because you have one card combos, your opponents usually don't have as many. So Ash trades really well with important cards in the game. Starter, Field Spell, of Tier Elements, like most of their effects. I don't know. I really like Ash. Yeah. Um, and I play only two more because it, those 17, I play 17, right? Mm -hmm. Those yep. 17 was as many as I could fit. It's Without breaking. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, because I needed to play those ratios here. Otherwise, you start breaking if you don't and have I any said, other. Okay, how many spaces I have left? 17? Okay, so it's going to be 17 hand traps. Fair enough. So, that was it. Um, I decided to not make Nibiru because of the increase of Luka Rukaros or something. The new tier card. Yep. So... Nibiru is instead... In I think all the pro players, they, they think the same, actually. They just don't like main decking Nibiru either. Yeah, which is something that I take advantage of because when I did my combo, yep. I go full fuck you Nibiru. Yep, uh, you go sprint first and then gigantic. Yeah, exactly. And like summon number seven or something. Yeah, and then if you get Nibiru, you just need to lose the game, but the Nibiru <laughs> doesn't exist. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. And this is like what you do in a meta call, right? Like you made a yeah. meta call, you analyze that people are not many Nibiru because of Rukaru. So this, there's nothing to do with me, but kind of does. Because mm -hmm. now that people are not playing Nibiru anymore, I can take advantage and do greedier plays yep. uh, and make stronger combos. And I did this entire day, the entire weekend, and I didn't, I never got Nibiru ever. Yeah. So I cited Nibiru because I thought that some people would be thinking like me. Ooh, uh, you're so, playing around uh, around yourself. Yeah, not not really, but like against uh, sprite decks versions is still good. So I, I wanted to have in the deck list somewhere because those are not that great against Sprite. They're not bad. They're fine, but they're not insanely good. This was a meta call against uh, tier of course. So some, something that I was doing, because the thing is you can't really use the Bisted Monsters on your opponent's turn when you're playing against Sprite, but on your own turn you can go, okay, standby phase, main phase, battle phase. Yeah. Not only do you make them waste their uh, Sprite starters so they, they summon Carrot, mm -hmm. but also on top of that they might go Elf, try to revive back a, bl a blue or jet. And then you can start using your Bisted Monsters so that the Elf doesn't revive and now you have a monster that can jump over something, threaten like so many interruptions yeah. in one single card. It's pretty good. Like like I said, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's definitely playable. What you said is definitely something that could happen. Yep. But I I have so many things to sign in, like the Gamma's. <laughs> 17 yeah. hand traps is never enough. Yeah, and then I, I pretty much like change those. Some of them, it's not all of them, it's like three or four and some other cards to fit those and you have like 20 people side mm -hmm. uh, going second of course so gamma is really generic i really like it uh then i play shifter because this card is absurd i have a question what is the record of the highest amount of hand shops you've had in your deck post like game one because do you side out hand shops for hand shops or yeah. you side out engine cards for hand shops no no i don't side a lot of engine cards one thing that i side out Carrot. quite often it's swap this the going third second. swap or no, the th all three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And all do you three. side out one carrot going second? In some matches, but often no. Okay, okay, fair enough. But often no. Uh, because you can't touch too much of your engine, unfortunately. Yep. So, uh, I, I feel like at this event, the max amount that I have is like around 20. But I had more before in the other decks. 40 card deck? Yeah. So half of your deck would be hand traps? Yeah, only half. Your goal is to draw two or three hand traps per hand? I mean, two is a good number, three is the ideal one. Because you have three hand traps and three engine cards. And yeah, because you're going second, that's because true. Because you're going second, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like you can be more gre greedier with the consistency mm -hmm. part when you go second because you guys have an extra card. But you go first, you can do that. So, yep. So Shifter, really good. I didn't draw this card in the event, unfortunately, this time. Uh, I drew once, but like it was like turn four or something. Yeah. So it was bad. But I don't remember drawing Shifter this event. So it was impactful, but it's pretty good still. And still this, uh, which you have bots, so you find yep. this quite often when first. For Those sure. cards are absolutely insane still. Uh, uh, so the reason why the trap trick is there instead of third sanctum is so that you have less bad redundancy card and you can also get your imperm if you need it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I have imperms here. Uh, so if, you, if this was a sanctum, so if I open this and this, it's bad, bad. right? So 
I feel like it doesn't change much most of the time this is going to be a sanctum but it does happen that it did, in reality it did happen there was this one time that I drew in perm and this so this became this but it could happen that I draw this and this and this but could become an imperm imperm and shop trick is kind of awkward because you have to you have to imperm first and then shop trick into sanctum because no, yeah. otherwise, if you chop check into Sanctum, your Imperm is dead. Yeah, okay. But like, if you don't do that, you're, you had two Sanctums, which is worse. 100%. Yeah. I totally agree with everything you're saying. Uh, so, yeah. It would be worse in reality. Yeah. So, okay. So, uh, that's it. Uh, and the last card is the second Smashers. Very obvious. I was... Uh, I, I, I knew it. Yeah. It was second Smashers. This side deck, like, this, this entire pattern is really similar from what I've been doing in the last event. It's been working. I top all of them. Um... Uh, so yep i i like have multiple smashers i had two before i have three smashes before a two side one main in the, the previous event but now i have like only one because of space issues i do like this measures um yeah it's pretty good if someone goes mystic mind crystal the forbidden spell on smashers you just give him the match yes <laughs> side match slip turbo but uh that's really unlikely to happen because one this deck is not that popular Mm -hmm. uh, like that Kaden Miss Command deck, this is a meta call. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you play one of this deck per like three events, uh, which is, I feel like, mathematically speaking, it's not worth it for you to put your deck with a bunch of like out to things that don't happen super often. I you totally know what agree. happens super often? Combo. Yeah, exactly. I play against, yeah. against only tier running this event pretty much. I play against one, uh, what's the name of the deck? One Sword Soul, one something else, and then only Despia? running in tier. No, it wasn't that Oh, okay. I have on my phone, but I forgot. All right. It was like the first two rounds that I played. Like it was a sword soul and something else. What it was, I don't remember. <laughs> and then uh, only Runix sprites and sprites and tier. Is Runix Splite a good matchup for you? Um, I feel like Runix Sprite is not a good matchup like, for anyone involved. Yeah. Uh, because I feel like it's a really polarizing deck where you either go first is it's usually insane, but going second, I have my reservations. Mm -hmm. uh, I would, especially because the new tendency is to not play hand traps in the deck. Um, like most of the play, like Josh won. And I feel like with that and the deck being popular, I feel like many people would adapt. Like, let's say, Terra Element could side uh, Eradicator, or even the Sprite yeah, yeah. can side Eradicator. So it's really awkward in that scenario because the deck is full for like 35 spells, I don't know. So then it's really weird yeah uh, i prefer having some play this and i feel like it's a shame to not play those cards I where, agree. where are they those guys like, yeah all of them yeah those so cards good. are really strong so yeah that's the, the side deck awesome uh and the extra deck the sprint of course this card changes everything um and again i was impressed by how much better that got in comparison from post list but mm. before this yeah right? this this few weeks that we had that's why i play live twin because i feel like the deck pure without this uh was much weaker mm -hmm. than than it was before but now i feel like it's close to what yeah. it was before and maybe it could be considered better no, if... it, it is better i'll explain to you why yeah. uh splite starter now is actually slightly better than before because before it was you ended on elf toad and smashers but now you end on sprint elf toad and smashers and the sprint when you have toad is actually an extra interruption because you get to bounce back a monster as well yeah. so see uh so i mean those are obvious cards i feel like in the hand trap version you don't need third i Ooh. never do all right i've been playing two this entire time and i don't remember a single time that i needed another one awesome azus and honor uh, I feel like those are obvious. Like I miss this card so much. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, it is. And, and this is another reason that I don't need to be super prepared for Mystic Mind because you have, you have Toad, you have Carrot, you have Smashers. Like depending on how you negate your shit, yeah, you can figure out and don't lose to that. I already showed the Phoenix and the Servers. I did them like this once, uh, and this like this happens. And this was the last card in my side deck, so I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to play. But it's interesting because sometimes you want uh, something to link these away. Yeah, uh, to trigger their effects, yeah. To trigger the effect. So there is the dream scenario where you have uh, this on board and something else, and then you make a server and discard a Nimble Angler, and then you send something, Nimble Angler triggers. That's insane. So it didn't happen. But yeah, it, right? it, it would have been classroom. so cool. Uh, then you have Dark, uh, which is pretty good. And I feel like interesting cards are number 65 i feel like it's important right now right now because if your hand is too heavy on engine 
um, it means that you probably can spare some dark monsters and make this on top of everything else. Yeah. So it gave you an interaction and can try to kill. So no mascarina. No mascarina. I don't like that very much. Usually mascarina demands more cards alongside it. But imagine if I play mascarina, I need to cut this and probably yeah. this. It's kind of awkward. Like this is uncuttable. This is uncuttable. I don't think you. Can yeah, you, this. you need the Obnimaru for the Nibiru token that you give to your opponent. Yeah, but not only that. Like this happens a lot when you go first against tier and they use Havanis and sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. But it doesn't matter. They have a monster, uh, and then when that happens, you usually want to Soul Sweeper banish temporarily because that monster usually frets battle phase to attack something, and also, also frets um, Super Poly mm -hmm. by using their monster. So that's uh, something that you want to avoid so banishing this temporarily is usually tempo enough yeah. that is worth it that's true um so yeah that's a problem that i have with mascarine it's something that don't happen really often when it does i feel like it demands a lot of space in the actual deck and i don't think it's worth in this type of version okay i feel like in the other versions yeah. it might be more necessary than these. have you considered playing mankin cat in your extra deck and... i did okay okay i did consider uh it was a consideration in this last spot mm -hmm. but i don't think i mean that would demand changes in here which i wasn't willing to do uh, mm. i know there is some mannequin cat situation that you play by itself right yeah. like you can report a gigantic detach from you know yeah, yeah there's a lot of things that you can do uh but i feel like this oh there's another reason for that i was kind of not afraid but like respectful about the draco's layer deck and the draco's layer deck make baguska so this is an out oh that is true uh, yeah because if i don't have that i pretty much don't have an out yeah um, that's true so that's another thing that could help in that situation. So I decided to go for that. I'm not super sure. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't test at all. The first match that I played with this, and this is not common for me. For people who mm -hmm. know me, I usually the preparation guy. Yeah. But not for this time because <laughs> uh, I, I was traveling from Quito and then I went to Las Vegas and now I'm here. I didn't play a single match. The first match that I played was first round this event. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like I did well from the experience that I had. So it's yeah. okay. You still managed to get that top, which is absolutely crazy, man. Yeah. Congrats to you again for like your fifth YCS top in a row. Yeah. That's just ridiculous, man. Yo, you, you, you're never stopping, man. You're never yeah, still no. gonna stop. Uh... I, I'll get in that fourth. Let's yeah. See. The fourth win will happen. Woo, let's freaking go, man. I really, uh, really wish you get there. Yeah. And uh, yo, again, huge congrats. Do you have any uh, final shout outs? I do. Okay. Uh, I want to shout out Jobber, my team. Okay. They helped me. A lot. I want to shout out Christian, the, my main testing partner, partner right now. Uh, he really helped me. Helped me. I want to shout out my wife because um, she's in Vegas right now. Oh. Because we were together in Vegas, and then I came for t three days to play Yu-Gi-Oh, and then I'm coming back. To <laughs> oh Vegas. my god! <laughs> so I want to thank her for, for her patience. Yeah. Uh, with me, okay. she knows me. Um, and also, I want to like make a little a plug. I have my channel and I have my Twitch. Of course. Uh, and I do stream in English once a week, usually on Thursdays. Uh, so if you guys want to see, see, play, where, talk where can we find you? Twitch and YouTube. Okay. I, uh, What's the name of the. B R R J Yu Gi Oh! Awesome. So again, b guys, both links will be in the description box below. Go yeah. subscribe to Paulo right now. Absolute MVP. He's mm -hmm. one of the most knowledgeable uh, players in the world and he's extremely good as well. So I really recommend this content. Thank you. And if you know, anyone wants to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, like I have a Metafine in the Duelist Academy. Yeah, so, great coach. Yeah, I do coach for a lot of people. So yeah. if you're interested, I've been doing this for a while. So if you guys want to, to say, pick my brain a little bit, uh, just let me know, send me a message. Cool. Yeah, you always want to learn from the best, so I really recommend uh, Paulo uh, coaching lessons. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.